Hey, welcome back to the Wild Frank family. Today, then, um, we're gonna be having Louisiana style spare ribs. That's like you having this. I'm gonna cook this inside the new wave oven. I'm gonna season it, and um, I'm gonna show you how I season and this stuff. And um, I'm gonna cut it in half. Most likely cooking this um in section because it's a big piece. And on the side, we're gonna have some bushes baked beans. I'm, I'm making right one, two, three, four cans. I'm making four cans of that because my kids love baked beans. And I'm doing some Bavita mac and cheese. But the way I'm, I'm going to do it is okay, I'm going to cook it on top of the stove, but um, I'm not going to cook it fully because I'm, I'm going to put it in the stove and I'm going to bake it. So baking it, give it gives it a kind of different taste and stuff, but I'm, I'm not going to bake it for too too long. But um, I'm going to show you later on, later on in the video about that and I'm gonna make some the side of mashed potatoes look at some of them and I got the, the two cups of water for it well not water <laughs> the two cups of milk that was my glitch <laughs> that was my error the two cups of milk right there the six cups of water right there for it also. But um, all right, I'm about to start seasoning the ribs and I'm gonna show you that in a second. Okay, I'm back. I just um, took the ribs off the package and you know, I did a quick rinse off and everything. This is how it looks. I'm gonna cut it in fours, but um, and I'm also gonna season both sides. <laughs> I love, I, I gotta have my food seasoned on both sides, just not one side of tasting food. <laughs> you know, so, so, but I'm gonna start it this way. I'll start it this way. And I'll um, turn it this way also too. Move that pot over a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna use this seasoning right here. Right here. I prefer, well, I'll, yeah, I'll prefer this seasoning right here because it got the garlic and the herbs in it. So it'd be good for this, cause then I'm on top of that. I'm gonna, I might, yeah, um, I might put some barbecue sauce on it, so it'd be like a barbecue, barbecue rib and stuff. Just, a, just a little bit of barbecue sauce. And um, all right, let me, let me start getting this full. First of all, I wanna, I wanna cut it in fours first. And four, and cut it in fours. Be just like this, cut in fours, just like that. One, two, three, four. Then, like when I put them in a new wave oven, I'm probably gonna do two at a time if, if I can fit on a thing, or at least two, two strips. Then after I do this, I'm gonna cut it. Well, I'm gonna um, season it. A little, a little fat going on here. <laughs> there we go. This one, guys. This one should be good. Yeah, this one's good. All right, now I'm gonna season it. I'm gonna season it, make sure I get it all straight down. You can add whatever kind of seasoning you like to yours. Everybody could they cook their ribs different ways. Me, I just like to be, you know. I like the basic, basic tasting, you know. Nothing that's gonna overpower it. This season is excellent, though. 
I love this seasonal. I, I even use um the same brand, but for the um, hamburgers. Definitely recommend it. You can flip it on the other side, do the exact same thing for the other side. Rub it in just a little bit. You flip it. Same thing. You know, just I'm just rubbing in the flavor. You know. Like I said, you can add any kind of um, seasoning. You can doctor it up in any type of way. But um, like I said, these, these are gonna be barbecue. This one is all seasoned up. Nice, nicely seasoned. Okay, now I'm going to go wash my hands, and then I'm going to put this on the. I'm going to put it on this right here. I'm going to put it on this, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back at the new wave oven. This is how it looks on the um on the tray I'm gonna cook. It looks just like that. I'm gonna put it in the new wave oven for like at least an hour. I'm gonna put it in there. Let me put it in there, make sure it's in the rack nice and evenly. Okay. I'm gonna put it in there for like at least an hour. But I'm gonna check on it, you know. I do, I'm gonna do 370, but um, I'm gonna check on it. I have to, I do 60 minutes. All right, I'm gonna do 60 minutes, but um, I'm gonna check on it, you know, as it cooks, and um, I'm gonna show you, you know, the updates on how it looks and how the new wave oven cooks these. Um, these spare ribs, but this the new wave definitely cooks food excellent. But um, I want to show you how good it cooks these ribs because um, I made ribs in my um my last video, and um they came out so tender. And um I'm kind of excited to see how these rib ribs gonna come out also with this dinner that they um, that we having tonight. But um I will be back to give you some updates on how it's coming out. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back at the stove right now. I'm gonna um, boil the um, noodles for the macaroni and cheese. Again, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna boil the noodles just a little bit. Not, not um, all the way until it's done, but I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna boil it just a little bit because like, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, um, put it in the stove and I'm gonna um, bake um, the macaroni and cheese. Usually I do my homemade macaroni and cheese with the, um, with the block of cheese and cut it up and melt it down and add the flour and the butter and you know, to, to make the roux and everything and you know, thicken it up and just add the macaroni and add some more ingredients, but that, that's another video for now. <laughs> But um, right now, I'm just currently using what we have on hand, you know, until we go shopping again. So right now, I'm just using the, the Vita 
I'm using this. Provita shells and cheese. I'm using this. But um, this is gonna look real good when I present it on the table. I just walked around four boxes. Stir it up a little bit. Yeah, usually, um, like I said, I do my homemade macaroni and cheese. Then usually, like when I do my homemade my homemade macaroni and cheese, I do my homemade stuffing. That's gonna be in another whole video. I wanna show you how I do that. The homemade stuffing tastes so good. Right along with the homemade mac macaroni and cheese. This is good too right now. <laughs> also, but um I like to do my I like to do everything homemade, but like I said, this is just what we have on hand right now at the moment. So it's still gonna be good. <laughs> I'm gonna have a nice little presentation on the table so you can see how it looks. And this meal right here that I'm making, it might last around a good three days. That's including today, so it might last like around one, two, yeah, about about three days. Four is kind of stretching it. it. It might be like a little bit less, but um, Keep stirring it. The ribs are still cooking, smelling very good. Like I said, I got those in there for a lot, like at least like a good hour cooking. Then I'm, I'm gonna show you how good that new wave oven cooks the ribs. I got one more half a rack to cook too, so but I'm, I'm still gonna show you like how it looks. Taste one just to see how how done it is. Mm, a couple more minutes. I don't want it too done, but I just I just want I want it done enough. Then as soon as as soon as this get done, I'm gonna strain it. Then I'm gonna bring everything back to the pot and add the cheese, different cheese. I'm gonna add it to the pan. Different pan, I'm gonna put it in the oven on um, I know cooking is a long process. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it takes like at least like, a, like like with every meal, you know, if, you, if you're doing everything correctly, it's gonna, it's gonna take you like at least like a half an hour. <laughs> Some meals take like an hour. It's, it's 
you know. I mean, but it's good though. It gives people um, ideas, you know, on you know people who don't know how to cook, you know, ideas on what to make, you know. So all you gotta do is just watch the video, and you know, they know how to do a quick, easy meal and how to do it, how to season it, you know. Okay, I think this right now is good to strain. I'm gonna turn the eye off. Yeah, it's good in the strain. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to strain this real quick. Straining it, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring it right back to the stove and I'm gonna add the cheese and from I'm gonna add to another pan. Okay, okay I'm back at the stove. I'm gonna add the cheese to it. Do that real quick. And the cheese. Four packs of cheese that came with it. And I'm going to stir it up. Get it nice and coated. Then like what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish cooking it in the stove. But I'm gonna ducker it up real nice. Just cover it like real good like that. Make sure it's all covered. Then what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna transfer this to another pan. I'm gonna transfer all this into this pan. Grab my oven mitt. It's kind of hot. for all this to this pan. Okay. And you're gonna just, you know, just even it out a little bit, you know. Even it out. Just like that. Do it just like that. All right, then now you're gonna do, you're gonna throw it in the stove. You can add, you know, you can add whatever season you want. Add a little pepper for decoration. Okay. Just a little bit. And 
just for taste, you can add a little bit more. Oh, never mind. I'm currently out of it. <laughs> I'm looking for a certain season that I do not think. Oh, yeah. It's not really this, just a little bit. I like to use just a little bit of this. Just a little bit. That's all you need is just a drop. Just a little bit. You, you, you can even put it in your hand and do it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit does wonders. Just a little bit. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put this in the stove for a little bit. Then I'm going to go back to the the new wave oven to see what's going on over there. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back at the new wave oven and there's still 26 minutes left on it, but um, I kind of stopped it midway just to show you how good it came out. That's how good it looks. I'm gonna temp it out real quick to see. Look at that. I want to temp it out and see what temp is it at? It is at about 160, so it's still got to go to full. Still gotta go to full uh, time. All right, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it back in there, but I wanted to give you a, a glance of how so far how it looks. Ribs in a new wave. All right, I'm gonna put it back in, and I will be back when we finish. All right, welcome back to the table. The ribs are done. It took exactly 60 minutes. This is how it came out. Ooh, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> the juice came out a little bit. I'm gonna take them off of here though. Let me get a fork. I'll clean that up later on. Oh, not that thin of health. Yeah. I'll let the cleaner go. <laughs> okay, I want to cut it in half so you can get an idea of how the new wave oven cook this. It smells so good. I'm gonna put the sauce on it. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some of this barbecue sauce. I'm gonna hook the flavor up real nice. Okay. So tender, look at this. Perfect. Perfect. And it's nice and tender. Look at that. Tender all the way through. Look at that. Look how juicy that is. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this all in strips. I'm gonna cut it all in strips. Lay on the side so you can see.
this came out amazing. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, as soon as I get done cutting them all up, I'm gonna show you some more close ups of this. touch <laughs> I think this is another one more close-up close up so you can see before I add the barbecue sauce and close this up again I had this cooking in for 60 minutes okay I'm gonna bring some close-up so you can see sauce. I'm going to add them in this pan right here. cover both sides I got one more little small wreck to cook and this would be a perfect amount for the family So good. You want to, you want to coat both sides, make sure you get an even amount on both sides. Tastes so good. Mm. 
I'm gonna use a whole bottle because I got one more rack to put in here, then I'm gonna use the same sauce in here to cover those two. One more, switch around. Cover them up real good. Again, these are ribs. Very, very tender. Close ups. That's how it looks. I got one more rack to cook. So I want to push this to the side. Wash my hands. Wash my hands. Okay. This is the last rack right here. We're taking out. To the side. Take this out. We'll do this on the same thing right here. I want to move this out the way. It's actually anything I did before. This is the, I'm gonna put it right in the middle, like this. Do you see? Just like that. I'm gonna toss it right in the wave and I'm gonna throw it in there again. Throw this one in there for the exact amount of the same time I did the other one. 60 minutes. Then I'm gonna then as soon as I set this, I'm gonna go to the stove and I'm gonna make the mashed potatoes. All right, I will see you at the stove. All right, I'm back at the stove for the final side. I got the um, the pork and beans back here. You know, a little, um, all I added to the pork and beans was a little bit of brown sugar. That's all they needed, just a little brown sugar. You know, that's good for them. Stir that up a little bit. This is already done. Oh, that's already done. I say pork and beans and right here this water right here it's gonna be for the potatoes mashed potatoes I'm gonna slowly add that stir it up a little bit turn the water down of course turn the water down a little bit matter of fact you can turn the water off Tell you the truth, because the water's already hot. Continue stirring. Yeah, stuff like this, you, just, you might just you might just um, turn the water off because um, it's already hot. Just stir it up real good like that. And these are some good quality instant potatoes from um, Sand Club. I always buy these from Sand Club. And it requires eight ta um, tablespoons of butter and milk. Milk. Just a 
start this in a slow. I got the last bit of the ribs we're cooking right now. And as soon as that finish, I'm gonna prepare the place for the kids and I'm gonna take a picture. Like I always do on my videos. <laughs> You want to add the remainder of the, um, the milk and the butter that it requires. Depending on how much you're making. For the amount that I'm making, it requires a whole stick of butter. Because I'm making double batch. You want to make sure you got everything mixed up nicely. Get the butter mixed in real nice, real good. Give it a little sample taste. Yep. A little pepper and we're good. That tastes a little messy. <laughs> Clean that up in a little bit. Sprinkle a little pepper on it. And we good. Get that out of here. Little mess I made. All right, I'll clean it up in a minute. But there you go. All right. All right, I will meet you back at the table with the plate presentation, I'll be back.